WordPress offers an excellent way to manage your site's menus, but it may not be apparent when you first install your site. In fact, a fresh installation doesn't use the Easy Menu system at all. You have to hook that up yourself. Follow along as I show you the menu system basics and how to start using it on your new site. When you first install WordPress, the global navigation bar at the top shows a link to the home page and a link to the one sample page included. Not too bad. Now let's see what happens when we add a few more pages of our own. Here we've added an About Us page and subpages and a Products page and subpages. On the site, the menu handles this gracefully. It looks pretty good. Now let's see what happens when we add a few more pages. Now that we've added more pages, the menu is starting to get out of control. It's added every new page to the menu, whether we wanted it or not. And so many are there, it's had to break to a second line just to include them all. Also, it may not be in the order you wanted. This menu appears to add the pages in alphabetical order. The best way to control this is to make use of the WordPress Menu Manager. In your WordPress dashboard, let's go to Appearance, Menus. The first thing we need to do is make sure your current theme supports menus. Most of them do, but you never know. To do that, simply create your first menu. We'll call it Global Navigation. Create Menu. Now we see in the Theme Locations block, it says your theme supports one menu. So we're good to go there. Let's add one more menu so I can properly explain theme locations. Click the plus sign to add a new menu. We'll call it Sidebar Menu. Click Create Menu. Now look at the Theme Locations block. It says the theme has a location called Primary Menu where I can hook up menus. From the drop-down, I can choose which one of my existing menus I want to show at that location. I can also pick none at all. In this case, I do want Global Navigation, since that's going to be my top menu. Now let's grab control of what appears in our menu. Click the tab with the menu you want to edit. Here at the top, there's a checkbox that says Automatically Add New Top Level Pages. I usually leave that off because any time a new page gets added to your site, it would automatically be added to this menu. The whole point, in my view, of the menu system is manual control, so nothing automatically happens and goofs up your menu. Now let's work on selecting items to put in our menu. We've already assigned this menu to the primary menu location in our theme. Let's zip that up and get it out of our way. We're not going to add custom links yet, so zip it up as well. We're more interested in pages. I'm going to click View All, and in this case, we'll add every one of those pages. Select All, Add to Menu. You'll see them all appear over here. I'm done adding pages, so we'll zip that up. I can show you the categories. This site has a Robot News category I'd like to show up in the menu. Click next to Robot News, Add to Menu. Anything we add to our menu shows up at the bottom. We're going to manage the location of these menu items in just a moment. In addition to these default types of links I can add to the menu, under Screen Options, I can enable other things. I can enable an entire list of posts and add them individually. I can enable tag archive pages and so forth. If I had custom taxonomies, I could enable them here as well. They would act like that categories box. For now, we don't need them, so I turn them off and hide the screen options. Before we start moving menu items around, I want to show you how to add a link to an item that doesn't exist on your own site. Under custom links, let's say we want to link to WPMU.org. We put in the URL, then let's give it a label, what it should read in our menu. Click Add to Menu, and like anything else, it will appear at the bottom of our menu. 
Now let's see what the menu looks like on our site. First, none of these changes have been saved. We have to click Save Menu first, and now we can go out to the main site. Right now, it's a mess. We've added several links at the first level of our menu. There are no drop downs, and it's forced us into three lines. But we have full control over this, and I'll show you how to fix it right now. In the Menu Manager, we can actually drag and drop menu items to change their order. We can also drag and drop to force an item to be a secondary menu. History is secondary to About Us. So is Mission Statement. After any of these changes, we have to click Save Menu to make them happen. If you drag and drop a menu item that already contains sub-items, those sub-items will follow along with it. We can easily rename or remove any individual menu item. For sample page, let's click the disclosure triangle to get more information on that menu item. Here we can change the label as it appears in the menu. We can see the original page it will link to. We can also cancel our change. Finally, we can click Remove to get that page item out of our menu altogether. Here, we've used drag and drop to put all of our menu items in the order we want and to organize submenus. We clicked Save Menu and now we're ready to see what it looks like on the front end. That's a lot cleaner menu. There are the submenus. It's really looking good. In addition to assigning menus to predefined theme locations, you can also add menus to any sidebar with widgets. Let's say you want a menu underneath the search field here. I'll show you how to do it. First, finish building a sidebar menu using the same drag and drop methods we showed before. Then under Appearance, Widgets, let's get that menu installed. On this site, Main Sidebar is what we saw on that front page. We want to add a menu right after Search. From our available widgets, we should have Custom Menu. Drag and drop that widget right underneath Search. It should open up where you could give it a title, and then select the menu you want to show there. Click Save. Now let's go see what it looks like. Indeed, there's our sidebar menu, complete with submenus. You can change the styling for this later to make them pop out, or leave it just like it is. Now you can control the menus on your new WordPress website. For many of us, this is all the control we'll ever need. In the future, I'll do another tutorial on advanced menu topics. Until then, keep on trucking.